The V Life with Dr. Annie is produced by Advanced Cardiovascular Care Center with educational grants from Amazing Lines, Dolce Vita Cardio Advanced Med Spa, and sponsored by In Mode Aesthetic Solutions. All right, welcome back to Live the V Life with Dr. Annie. So today we're going to talk about sticky blood. All right, and sticky blood refers to diabetes early diabetes, insulin resistance. So many, many, many patients all over the world suffer from diabetes that is diagnosed or not diagnosed. So insulin resistance is um, kind of a syndrome that occurs early on uh, when patients don't even know they have diabetes. It occurs because over the years, you know, we've been taught it's okay to put all those carbohydrates in our body but it's not okay. So when we put the carbohydrates, such as children eating sugary foods and uh, cereals and uh, adults eating everything on the breakfast buffet that's carbohydrate laden, right? So we get all the sugar in our body and we only need this much sugar for the day, but we eat this much sugar for the day. And sugar can be in the form of actual sugars or carbohydrates like rice, pasta, bread, cakes, pies, cookies, candies, you name it. So carbohydrates get in there and our body needs only a small amount of carbohydrate to function. Our cells need glucose to function, but only a little bit. So we have to do something with this glucose. It becomes like a waste product for our body, but we can't get rid of it. So what happens? The, the pancreas starts secreting insulin more and more saying, cell, please use the glucose. So the, the pancreas gets tired after a while. So by age 30, 40, sometimes in the 20s, the pancreas is saying, whoa, I can't do this anymore. I can't uh, secrete that insulin anymore. And people start developing diabetes. And the cells become resistant to the insulin that's secreted. So you have insulin resistance the glucose has to go somewhere, it can't go inside the cell because the cell has a receptor sticking up and the insulin receptor becomes dysfunctional so the glucose cannot attach anymore and therefore glucose is hanging around. Where does it go? Well, it goes to the wonderful fat cell. Those fat cells that we're born with say, I'm here, go ahead. And so the fat cells start receiving the glucose and that is how we develop visceral abdominal fat, fat that's that deep fat, that uh, very hard to get rid of fat. And sometimes it's very hard actually to, to touch in the belly. The bellies become hard. And, and people develop the storage mechanism of all the glucose. So that's why we see obesity rampant throughout the world. In the Middle East where I am standing in front of the beautiful Grand Mosque, in India, in China, in the United States, Europe, Africa, all over the world, diabetes is rampant. And that's why cardiovascular disease is the number one killer of men and women all over the world because diabetes leads to cardiovascular disease and cardiovascular death and morbidity. So this is why you have to know, what is insulin resistance? How can I stay away from it? How can I not develop diabetes? And there are medications many times that will help us not to develop diabetes. There are natural therapies, there are dietary mechanisms and changes. We're uh, publishing many things to help patients understand with, with whether it's media or paper or document. Go to our, our website dvchealth.com and you'll learn more about preventing diabetes and vascular disease. Thank you. The V-Life with Dr. Annie is produced by Advanced Cardiovascular Care Center with educational grants from Amazing Lines, Dolce Vita Cardio Advanced Med Spa, and sponsored by InMode Aesthetic Solutions.